contacted a couple promoters here in Ontario and uh, they told me that they do not like my big motor mount that I build at the front because it doesn't go to the factory Toyota Camry mount location. So he told me if I'm able to make my mounts go from the block to the factory mounts, I'm allowed to do it. So I built this one up front. It has a plate to go where the air conditioner used to be and then it, it zigzags over to the factory Toyota Camry mount. Now the back side is going to be a little bit of a st different story because I cut half the mount out to make the motor fit. So I'm going to have to, I could do it with the motor in, but it's going to be really, really tight. We're going to try to take the motor out and then come up with a way to do that. So we're going to drop the sub and take the motor out. You guys ready? <laughs> take this out. Uh, because of how the ball joints are and the spindles, it's going to be a little bit different than how I normally do a Camry. It's pretty much the same principle though. What I'm kind of hoping for is pull bolts, subframe comes out. Kind of a simple plan, isn't it? Let's try this. subframe bolts are out. Let's see if we can wiggle the subframe down. I already got the bolt pulled for the steering, the one I normally forget. Let's see if we can get this. Okay, come on up. Oh, she ain't coming apart. Subframe's off. Oh, hey, how's it how going, buddy? So as it looks right now, all we got to do is make sure the axles come out. Everything's going to be coming out as one unit. Just going to leave the struts in there. build a bracket that comes off of here that comes around to here. Let me show you guys what I need to do. So here's the issue. He does not, or the promoters do not like this mount. They say that even though it uses the factory W body mount location, that is not a factory Toyota Camry location. So what they want me to do is they want me to build brackets, go to the factory Camry mount, and can mount up to the aluminum. 
So this one right here is what I've done. I've made this mount. It was a lot prettier before I put this piece in. We have a couple gussets to make sure it's not too bad and we can still get all the bolts off pretty easily. Same as right there. So that one's done. This one right here is not so bad because it does go to the factory location that Toyota Camry mounts. I just got to drill a hole and mount it. I might change this one up a bit, but I'm not sure as of this point. I can build another one and change it if I need to just to make it go to this point. So we'll see about that one. But now this one right here is going to be a little tricky because I guess I didn't have to cut as much as I did, but I did cut that much. As you can see how much of the subframe I actually did have to cut out. So we're going to build a mount that mounts to these four locations and maybe has a... I'm going to have to do this and figure it out. I don't really want to get rid of this because I think that's kind of necessary because I know that these have a lot of twisting torque on them. Bring it off of here and then the pipe that comes down and mounts to there. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but we'll try to come up with something. Give me a couple hours and I'll see if I figure out something here. Well, with a little bit of time, as you can see, it's almost dark out now. I got called away for a couple things. I have this homemade mount. I have a gusset here. I have a gusset here. Just because everything kind of comes out cantilevered off this. Same as this one. See how it's cantilevered above the bolts? I wanted to be able to remove it. And then I have a gusset that comes up under the inside of all those bolts. I am a little nervous about this mount, but I couldn't really figure out a better way to do it. I didn't want to go to the heads because they're aluminum. I didn't really want to do a whole heck of a lot. Anything above here because the heads are aluminum. So if you put a motor mount to aluminum, it's not really going to work out. But if you guys are noticing something back here, I've cut the factory mounts off, moved them in, and put a Lumina steering rack inside this thing. Um, the reason for putting the Lumina rack is I did a whole bunch of thinking. I know, me thinking, that's a little bit different. And I'm either going to have to get a whole bunch of custom lines made up to go to this box, or I just use the factory Lumina steering rack. And the, the Lumina tie rods will go better into the Lumina spindles. So, you know what, I might as well start just bringing it all over to Lumina. It wasn't that much. I just used the torch, I cut them off, moved them in, re-welded them in. It was actually a pretty easy job. Just have to change out one of the tie rods. It was kind of bad anyway, feel it flopping around. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to do this swap, but you know what? I really wasn't planning on taking the subframe out. So now that it's out, I might as well do it. So we can put it all back in. I used a straight edge to mark where the top of the steering shaft was right here. So this one here almost matches up. Doesn't really sit centered. The mounts are a little off centered, but that's okay. Um, it's all going to work out, right? So just getting it in there, getting it welded down. Um, pretty much all we're going to do now is hook up the steering and put this thing back inside the car. I do have to take this mount off, so I am going to zip these off right here and do that. I might have to pull the motor off to fix some of the subframe cuts I did. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure. But as of right now, it's done. It's in there. It's fixed. It's finished. So that's today's video. I got all the motor mounts done. As you see, my back one here is nice and pretty. The axle does go in. I've already tried. Just had to pull it out to do some welding. We have the front motor mount done, which I do like this one, but I really wish I had to take in a little bit more time with that gusset just to make it look prettier. This one here looks pretty. Why didn't I make that one look pretty? Now this mount here, I still might have to redo it. I don't like it. It's a little close to the drive shaft. If you got full droop, it might hit it, but I don't think it's going to, but I might redo it. But anyway, so that's how we sit as of today. The uh, Cam Lumina. I still haven't think of some of your guys' names. I put it up on Facebook. I got Half Breed. I got a whole bunch of funny ones. Uh, American Rice. I kind of like that one, but I kind of thought it was a little bit racist, so I'm not going to use that one. But... I don't know, there's some, been some pretty good names about this one. So thanks for watching, guys. We got the motor mounts done. Maybe tomorrow I'll take it back off the subframe and just plate up the where I've cut, finish up all these cuts here, make them look prettier, fill it in so it's not a wide-open subframe piece, and we'll go from there. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow.